Okay, if you are new to my channel, my name is Marco Zamora. I focus on interior design, home decor, and I also do a little bit of vlogs of me living my life in LA. Today is a big day. We're gonna be working on my living room makeover. I have been working on putting this together for a really long time, and I finally got some of the finishing touches in today, and I feel like I'm finally ready to share it with you guys. So I've been collecting a lot of different pieces, which are stunning, and I've been trying to take my time. I feel like that's the biggest thing when you're building your living room or your home. Take your time, find pieces that really mean a lot to you. At the end of the day, you're gonna really, really love your space, and I feel like that's where I'm at right now, so I wanna bring you guys along the journey, share where I got everything from, the stories, all of it. So I think to best show you guys this, I'm gonna start with a blank palette, so I'm gonna move everything out and show you guys the process of how I designed my living room. So first things first, let me show you the video that I took when I first toured this apartment. I was stunned when I found this apartment. Literally the living room was what sold me. I walked in and I was like, I want this apartment. So here you go. So you walk in and there are these huge windows on the right side, big windows on that wall, a fireplace mantle. The room is massive, first of all. And then on top of that, you have these beautiful beams. When I saw the space, I knew this was the apartment that I wanted. So this is also why this is the very first room that I decided to put all my attention and focus into. Trust me, the other rooms are so good and I'm gonna be doing videos of those very soon. I feel like I've just been picking up my pace, so coming soon. I knew that I really wanted to highlight the architecture of this building. It has like a very like Parisian light, just like very pretty feeling to it. And I wanted to make sure that anything that I did kind of like enhance that. Here are some like Pinterest inspo pictures that I had that I really loved the vibe of and I kind of wanted to recreate in my space. So this first one I believe is Athena Calderon's space and it is stunning. You know, she really mixed a lot of different materials, marble, you know, textures, there's gold tones in it, there's a lot of like neutrals. I think she really focused on the materials and textures. She didn't introduce too many different colors in this photo, but I think that that to some extent really allows the like architecture and just the beauty of the building to shine. So this is a really big inspo for me, kind of having that marble coffee table, white couch. So in this next photo, you can see again, you can see all the crown molding up top, the white couch, the marble coffee table. So I, you know, I have <laughs> these notes down, okay? And for the last inspo photo, I mean, this is just like, beautiful Parisian style at its finest. You know, the herringbone floor. Mine is not herringbone, but at least it's the same color. All of the beautiful molding on the walls. I mean, that's a lot of work and probably a lot of money, so we're not doing that. But, you know, the big mirror, the white couch, very much my style and what I wanted to recreate in here. So I moved everything out to give you guys the full journey. Like, are you kidding me? That is chef's kiss. So everyone always asks me where this art is from and it's one of a kind. My friend actually made it for me. He actually did a makeover in my space and these are some of the details from what he did and I love them so much. So that's kind of what I'm gonna have as the base of this makeover. So over on this wall, we have a fireplace mantle and I'm gonna do a, kind of like a DIY transformation on here, which I think is gonna be really good. All right, with that, let's get freaking started. I am so excited for you guys to see the finished product. All right, let's go. So the way that I like to start when building out a room is the biggest pieces and for me that was the couch and I knew that I wanted a white couch and a marble table so I freaking manifested and sure enough I found the most beautiful white couch and marble table from Facebook Marketplace and I got the best deal so these are them
It's heavy and very difficult to do by myself, but dedication. I started going hard on Facebook Marketplace, trying to find a white couch and a marble coffee table slash console table, and I found them. Okay, so let's start with the couch. It literally looks like a piece of art. It's from CB2, originally $1,800, and I got it off Facebook Marketplace for $500. There is nothing wrong with it at all. So you could say I scored. Then for the coffee table, we have this black coffee table which has like a really cool shape. A piece of square glass that goes on top of it. Ignore the bath mat, that's what I used to drag it out here. Really cool and provides a lot of contrast against the white couch. Then when I actually went to go pick up this coffee table, the person that was selling this were actually also selling this console table and I scored screamed when I saw it. Like the colors are beautiful. It's like this very like burgundy pink with like a mix of like green and gray marble. I asked her how much she would do for both and she said she would sell me both of them for I think it was $900. So split between the two around $450. I would say that these are somewhat on the expensive side but for one marble is super expensive and for two, because it's like a natural resource, it actually holds its value. So if in the future I ever wanted to sell these, I could probably sell it for the price that I bought it at or even more. So as you could guess, I love Facebook Marketplace. I 100% recommend checking out Facebook Marketplace, especially for a couch. You can get really good deals and there's a lot of people that are selling couches that are brand new, oftentimes just because they're moving. But yeah, that could be like a whole separate video of how I find these really good deals on Facebook Marketplace. So these two chairs were part of the makeover that my friend Drew did and I literally love them so much. Definitely makes me think of Drew every time I see them, but they have the most beautiful silhouette. The fabric is also like a boucle, so definitely adds the whole Parisian aesthetic. Um, so this is where we're at with like the furniture and I quickly noticed that there's a lot of white going on. So the way that I wanted to break all this up was with having a rug that had a lot of cool patterns and textures, still neutral so it wasn't like too distracting. It's something to kind of break up all the white. And that's where this checkerboard jute rug comes into the picture. It is insane. So this rug is actually more of like a diamond pattern, which I love because right now I feel like checkerboard and checker printed stuff is really trending. This is a lot more classic and also more muted because it's in more of like a natural jute material. So as soon as I found this rug online, I knew that I needed to buy it ASAP. All right, well, let's get this seating area set and ready, and then we can work on the rest of the living room. The fact that I just moved all that furniture by myself shows my commitment. So like this video, give it a heart, give it a comment. It needs it. <laughs> okay, but wow, this stuff looks so good together. I think I found the perfect combo. You guys, you guys need to buy it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here it is. Check it out. Like what? That sure looks so good. I think that's my biggest tip. If you have a lot of white furniture, break it up with like a cool pattern, um, cool color, anything like that. And I think that'll really help to kind of give your space some dimension. And then over here, this is where I put the marble table um, up against this window, just because I usually have this one open. So I like um, just having that whole view clear. These chairs are from Castlery. They're boucle swivel chairs, which are super cute. And this rug is a checkerboard jute area rug, and I got it from Rugs USA. Ugh. I'm tired. It's time for Duncan. Let's go. Hey, we got our coffees and we are ready to go. 
I'm about to be doing some back flips right now. Give me a second. Okay, up next, I want to work on the curtains. These curtains are already like at a really good height. They like perfectly kiss the floor. So as you can see, they're a little on the wispy side of things. Um, so I actually just bought two pairs to add onto both of these windows. That way it has a little bit of more of that full luxurious look. Also, these curtains are from Ikea, literally the only place that you should be buying curtains from because they have the best prices. I don't know why, but curtains are so expensive. Literally one panel alone from like any other place is like $100. Ikea said, no ma'am. Literally two panels for $24, yeah. I tried like five different Ikea curtains and I finally found the ones that I love the most and that's these. They're the Hanalil beige curtains. They're sheer enough where they allow light in, but at nighttime they provide enough privacy where people can't see in. Um, like they'll see like a shadow or like a figure, but they can't actually see you, which is important. All right, let's put these up. Hey, wow, that literally makes the biggest difference. It gives the curtains more of a full look. All right, so now let's talk tips for hanging curtains. Typically, you want the curtain rods to hang about like six inches from the top of the ceiling. And then really the more important detail I would say is that you want the curtains to barely kiss the floor by elevating the curtains as high as they can go and also adding um, a couple inches to the side of the window. It really makes the windows appear a lot bigger than they are, and it also accentuates um, the height of your ceiling. So next, we're gonna work on this little blank area. I feel like it's a fun place to just do something cool. Disclaimer, so I feel like right now in interior design, there is literally zero rules. Like, I feel like people are just having fun. Like, mix different time periods together, mix different colors together, like, just have fun. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do. I have been obsessed with little paintings and just like little things. And this is actually a very special painting. My mom gifted this to me when I got my very first corporate job uh, to put on my desk. And I'm really excited to hang this up. So let's kind of see how this looks. I love it. It's so little and so random, yet so cute. Like, I'm confident that this is going against all design rules, but I kind of don't care. Okay, and then underneath it, I want to add this cute little Vertan stool. I actually found it from Goodwill, and it was $10. It's such a steal. I found a very similar stool that you can buy off Etsy, which I'm going to link in the description. And I also found a similar little mini painting that I'm also going to link. I'm going to link everything that I can, so just look for it down in the description. Um, but I feel like this looks so cute down here. And then if I were to just add some like cute florals, one second. Like, ah, oh, tell me that's not the cutest thing. I literally love it. And because this painting means so much to me, I love it even more. And there is nothing that anyone can say that's gonna make me take it down. Also, both of these doors are like fully functional with that there. Cheers, bestie. Ugh. Okay, up next is the fireplace. What I'm thinking of doing is putting a really large mantle mirror up top. I actually just got it from Facebook Marketplace. It is huge and beautiful. Let me show you this mirror, then we can talk the rest of the plans. Like, look at this, what the heck? It's so good, I love it. Look at how beautiful all of these colors look together. So I got this mirror off Facebook Marketplace for $60, okay? Talk about a steal. There is so much detail to it, I, Love it so, so much. That changes the space so much. But I think that we have a dilemma because it's really big and it's also dark, but down below it's like really light and there's nothing to kind of give a balance. So my idea was to actually contact paper this granite down here. It doesn't really go with anything else in the apartment. So I figured why not cover that up and kind of 
do a darker color that then gives balance to the mirror. Okay, so these are the options that we have. So part of me was thinking that it'd be really fun to kind of do like a red marble style. So this is one option that I bought. And then option two is a black marble. Also very nice, just like regular contact paper. I really don't know which option I want to go with. I feel like this one is a really cool color and is very unique. Um, this one's a little safer and I know it'll work with like other things in my apartment. Ah, what do we think? What do we think? Let me pull out so you guys can kind of see it from further away. Kind of some of the elements that are in the room. All right, we're doing black. I feel like it'll look good with the coffee table and it'll also let me play with other colors in the apartment. As you can tell, I love to clean. So in case you don't know, I have an engineering degree, so let's see if it was worth all the money that I spent. <laughs> It's not clicking. Period. I'm freaking done, that's all I'm doing. This is so hard, holy crap. All right, I think I got like that corner lined up. Um, so I'm gonna try and just roll it all out, hopefully I get it. If not, I have some extra to try again. Fingers crossed. Okay, we are almost there. It's going on a little crooked, but that's freaking fine. <laughs> We're just gonna go with it. I love how like precise and clean those lines are. And then it gets over here. Now I'm just gonna go along the lines with an X-Acto knife to clean it all up. And then if there's any air bubbles, I'll pop them with the X-Acto knife as well. Wait, this actually looks so good. This is the further away shot. I really, really like that. Okay, I still feel like it's not dark enough down bottom. So I'm actually thinking of probably painting that little inside square black. That way it makes that little gas connection go away. And it'll also make it look a little bit more like a real fireplace. I'm also thinking of actually mounting the mirror onto the wall. I feel like it'll open up more space on the mantle for me to decorate and create some like separation between the two. All right, I think it's time to go to Lowe's. You're gonna get some paint and some hooks to go hang up that mirror. Let's go. I'm driving to Lowe's right now. I'm kind of scared. I feel like I haven't been to like a hardware store in a long time. So. We'll see if I can find what I want to find. I'm more of like a target girly command peel and stick hook type of type of body. America. I got my little hooks, my paint, and my paintbrush. Let's do this. Oh, busty. They didn't even have apple paint. This is giving trenches. Thank God I had my wallet in my pocket. Otherwise, I would have had to gone home and then drove all the way back. <sighs> I give it five out of 10. We got the paint and the paintbrush and no tape. I'm literally just gonna freaking freehand it. I don't care. And hopefully it looks good. <laughs> I have literally no idea. This paint is called Tricorn and it's from Velspar. So I think this one looked the best. Um, I didn't want to buy a big can, so I'm just gonna do this. Thing. Hopefully it looks good. No turning back. All right, so while that paint dries, I wanted to switch out the sconces. So I actually got this sconce from Anthropology, and it is so pretty. Let's go ahead and swap these out. Got it off, now it's time to remount the new sconce. Let's see how this goes. That was a struggle, but I was able to change it. I'm alive and I hope it works. 
but it looks really, really good. So this is the old scones, and this is the new scones. And I feel like this plays a lot nicer with the mirror, as well as the fireplace and the stuff in my apartment. All right, I added a second coat of paint to the fireplace and it looks so good. And then I swapped out both sconces. I'm really loving this. I feel like the black marble and the black part of the fireplace really gives it some balance. Up next is mounting the mirror and I think that'll also help. All right, and the mirror is up, and so are the sconces. Oh, that looks so good. I feel like the styling is really gonna wrap it all together. Is my living room makeover. I am literally <laughs> so obsessed with how it came out. For this being my very first apartment all to myself, I literally love every piece and every item that I bought and made over and I'm so happy that I'm able to share it with you guys. If you guys are interested in watching my journey of me making over all the other bedrooms and areas in my apartment, be sure to subscribe. Also, like and comment down below. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and if there's anything that you want me to link. I think with that, bye guys, and I'll see you in my next video.